Hey y'all, um, this is probably going to be the hardest video, vlog, whatever I've ever, ever done. Um, I joined the TTC community when my husband and I were trying to conceive. Um, almost five years ago now and uh, started vlogging about four years ago um, and uh, we struggled to have a baby um, <clears throat> in uh, 2013 um, our dreams and wishes came true um but it was at after a loss um my husband lost his father just the month before we found out we were pregnant and so my daughter was born without a granddaddy because I didn't have a father at the time and it was it was really rough for me. Um, I had a really hard time with it and everything. But she came, and she has been an absolute ball of light. Um, her daddy, who served with. The USMZ for four years and then at the time that we got pregnant he was serving with our local National Guard um, he served there for two years here in Alabama and um, after you know having been over to Afghanistan he wasn't a hundred percent he wasn't exactly like um, you know, who I had met before he left. He struggled. Um, but his daughter was bringing him back. And he loved her so much. And she loves him. On the 11th, She'll be two years old. Her daddy won't be here to see her turn two. Because on February 18th, he was riding his motorcycle home from school, just about four and a half miles from our house. And a drunk driver pulled out and ran into him and killed my husband. <laughs> my life is so incomplete without him. My daughter misses him so much. I miss him. And it hurts. All the numbers that will that'll never happen for us now. All the things that we wanted to do. We wanted to have more kids. We had talked about it and stuff recently. But because both of us were back in school, I didn't think that it would be fair to get pregnant now. And no, I'll never have more kids because I lost my soulmate. Because somebody was so selfish and decided to drive drunk. <laughs> my daughter will never have her daddy.
she knows him now and she loves him she'll hear a motorcycle near the house and she'll start cheering and clapping because she thinks it means daddy's coming home and she saw him at the viewing and the funeral because I didn't want to deny her seeing her daddy and he was nothing more than asleep to her <clears throat> but when we had the military burial at the veteran cemetery and they did the flag ceremony she knew her daddy was in that box and when they took the flag off she started cheering and saying daddy wake she looked at that flag as nothing more than a blanket and she in her mind thought that when they took that blanket off daddy was gonna wake up every sound or anything that she sees that reminds her of daddy I have to explain to her that he's not here anymore and he won't be here anymore and I hate it for her I hate it for me I just want my husband back and I want my life back because I just I just don't know how to handle this I don't know where to go from here he was my best friend and I loved him so much and I just I that in time I know our daughter will forget him she, she won't have her own memories of him anymore and it'll be my my memories that I'll have to share with her it'll be my stories about her daddy and how much he loved her and pictures to show her and no baby deserves that it just sucks so bad because I just don't know where to go from here I feel so alone in all of it because people will say you know oh they, they know how I feel and unless you've lost your best friend your husband the father of your child or whatever you don't you don't know what it's like to lose that piece of you it's just so hard now <clears throat> but I've got to find a way to keep going for her I don't want to give up on school because she deserves for me to provide for her and give her the best existence that we were planning on before we lost my husband he was going back to school because he wanted to have a better degree that was going to be more for us and now it's all on me and I just feel like I'm gonna do such an inadequate job because I don't have him I just 
I want all of you. To just love. Love your spouse. With everything. Because you never know when you're not going to have them anymore. You never know when life is going to be cut short. Or if it's going to be cut short. This is nothing that I could have ever expected. And it's been the most upsetting and debilitating thing for me to go through. And I just, I don't want to see anybody else suffer this way. I, I couldn't wish this pain on anybody. Because it's just too much. It hurts so bad. I'm sorry.